Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another update video for Utah Macross. As you can tell, we are close to entering 2019 as of today. I am recording. It is the 28th of December 2018. And of course, when the new year comes around, you can see there's this brand new icon near your rank uh, level, which is the Nian Kuji tab, or rather the New Year banner of tabs. So if you come in here for the first time like I am, well for me, I don't really have to enter here before because I have experienced the one for 2018. So there are some slight changes from the um, New Year event for 2018 uh, as compared to 2019. So we're going to talk about some of the smaller uh, changes here and there. Alright, so as you can see, the usual stuff you have to get uh, Nyan Kuji tickets to obtain the exclusive episode plate that is within the Kuji itself. There is a tendency that you might not get both episode plates from all the free tickets you can get from the upcoming event in January. Um, tickets can be gotten by purchasing Singing Stone packs, uh, as mentioned here in the banner. I can show you guys later when I enter the um, uh, singing Stone store. There are three special packs that you can purchase um, that you know by using real life money. Of course, uh, purchasing them will give you more Kuji tickets and more chances to obtain the episode plate itself. Now, if you're wondering what happens when I have finished. Um, Pulling the entire stack of items from the uh, Kuji itself. Well, once you have completed extracting out the entire set of rewards, they will definitely refresh the rewards. No, you will not get any more of the episode plates after the refresh. They will probably just give you items like such, like the food items and of course your resources um, for your episode plates and all this stuff. So, is it actually worth? buying excessive amounts of Kuji tickets from the Singing Stone packs, I would say um, spend wisely. Do not spend um, an over excessive amount um, after you've gotten the two episode plates. Do not go beyond that. Once you've gotten the two episode plates, I will highly recommend you to stop purchasing any more of the Singing Stone packs because it is definitely not worth the money uh, unless you're a brand new player and you are lacking in all the resources like the lucky stones that you can see here and of course the very rare materials that you use to power up your episode plates and of course the items needed to power up or rather you level up your divas affections and uh, yeah all that kind of stuff so normally all these items can be gotten through event play um, that is if you have been playing the game faithfully, um, continuously and smartly. Um, you don't really need to throw in real life money to obtain all these items. So with that said, please spend wisely. Only buy the packs when you need the tickets um, at a desperate time. Um, but do take note though, uh, the Singing Stone packs do have an expiration period of when you can purchase them. Um, I will talk more about it later on, but let's talk about this current banner. Um, as you can see, this has not happened before um, in the 2018 New Year uh, event. This is a first time thing, so basically um, <laughs> you'll be given this packs, if I'm not wrong. Um, so they are called Nyan Nyan Matsuri. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure why. Uh, let's see. Volume, volume up. Uh, okay. So I think it's related to the upcoming event um, where these can be exchangeable for episode plates. Um, if I'm not wrong. So I have not really gone to research a bit too much onto this yet because I'm waiting for the SP broadcast. As I mentioned in my last video guys, there will be an SP broadcast. I will leave an image for the broadcast here. Make sure you check it out um, if you are free on that day. If you are not free on that day, don't worry. The guys and the broadcast crew will definitely get that broadcast recorded and uploaded onto Macross Space Time Day Culture for you guys to watch. 
And of course, me, myself, personally, I will be doing a full breakdown video of the SP, SP broadcast, translating all the content into English for you guys, um, especially for those who do not understand Japanese. Definitely, you will want to find out what is brand new in Ultimate Cross for 2019, and of course, the brand new um, special things that you do not want to miss out on um, during the start of the new year that's co coinciding with the current event for um, the new year itself. Alright, so we've got lots of tabs here. We are definitely familiar with most of them. Um, so as you can see, um, yeah, so this is pretty interesting. We've never seen this before. So it's definitely a banner just to promote the next event that's going to start, uh, you know, in just a few days time. Um, yeah, so this button here, the top right one, um, basically leads to your Singing Stone store, which is what we're going to take a look first. Alright, so as you can see, I have only three banners here. By right, there's four because I already purchased the most cheapest one um, that costs 1,300 yen. Um, and that one basically gives you like, uh, let me see, uh, 1,300 yen. I think it was around this. I think it was the 300 singing stones. Yeah, it should be the 300 singing stone packs uh, at, a, at a cheaper rate. Yeah, so normally it's 1,009 but it, it was sold for 1,300 plus it will give you a certain amount of um, Kuji tickets as you can see. Only the bottom three, um, inclusive of the 1,300 yen, um, will give you the Nyan Kuji tickets. As you can see, the top most special bundle here that has a 7 day expiration um, will give you that one time guaranteed 5 star gacha ticket. Now, we're going to talk about the um, guaranteed gacha in just a moment, but let me explain about the Nyan Kuji sale packs first. Do note they have another 3 days before expiration as of this date that I'm recording this video, which is the 28th of December 2000, uh, 2018. Now, it has occurred before last uh, in the last New Year event in the beginning of 2018, where these packs were sold at, on 2017. And after the expiration, when the when New Year came, these three packs were reissued again for you to purchase in 2018. So in 2017, there were um, these bundles available, and then of course in 2018, these bundles became available again. So you are able to purchase these bundles twice if you needed the. Uh, discounted singing stones and of course you needed more Kuji tickets so for those who have the ton, uh, the, the, the amount of money to spend into this uh, if you've never bought any of this discounted singing packs before I will highly recommend you to purchase all these new year bundles um, it is a very hefty sum of money in my country um, buying an entire list here of the four special bundles in one go um, it's roughly amounting to almost 250 Singapore dollars. Um, so in US dollars, I guess it's probably about uh, close to 200 USD as well, um, which is a lot of money uh, if you think about it. And we're con we are talking only about um, uh, purchasing them in 2018. We haven't talked about purchasing them in 2019. So. It, in December 2018, you're going to spend about $200 and in January 2019, you're going to spend another $200. That's going to be a $400 walking dollars. Um, is it actually advisable? If you're talking about a long-term investment, yes, it is advisable because the singing stones are definitely way cheaper. You could save the singing stones for uh, future gachas, but the investment in in into all these singing stones at this point of time all at one go is definitely going to weigh you down in the long run because that is a lot of money um, for myself personally I will probably just buy one whole bundle and that's it I will skip the one that's coming in 2019 um, I can't say for sure that um, 2019 these bundles might guarantee uh, return uh, you know because for who knows because it is a brand new year, maybe Dana has decided to do this marketing a bit differently as compared to 2017 and 2018. Um, so yeah, I highly re recommend you guys to purchase all four bundles uh, in 2018. 
do not wait for 2019 to come because you don't know whether for sure these four bundles will return in 2019 but you know from my experience i would say that most probably they might come back um so yeah um like i said earlier in the video um i do not highly recommend you buying the yan kuji ticket packs um unless you need the tickets itself um, do take note though, they do have expirations on when they are being uh, sold. Um, yeah, so make a choice um, if you need the extra Kuji tickets to obtain that exclusive episode plate that could only be gotten through these uh, New Year Kuji boxes. Uh, do take note though, uh, we have already experienced um, two uh, exclusive episode plates from such manner and both of them have been pretty useful because these episode plates let me just sort them out and show you guys just in case uh, there we go we're gonna have them as rarity okay so we're gonna take a look uh, so you can take a look at my bundle of episode plates so we have the two episode plates here the super exclusive ones now we're gonna talk about why are these episode plates very very useful and do not want to miss out on them let me just show you guys in a different uh, point of view here we go okay so as you can see it is not the best stat out there but this is the key importance because all divas are equipable with all these exclusive anniversary plates uh, first anniversary for Utah Macross, then of course we got the 2018 New Year episode plate as well. Um, so the total amount stats are definitely spread out generously, um, which makes them very versatile in terms of use. But in terms of the skills, they are decent. Um, both of them are both um, supports, support episode plates, so they are not meant to be used as center. Um, so yeah do take note of that and no special episode or so, sorry no, no special notes or uh, that comes with this particular first anniversary plate this one however has been the best one so far because it came with an item note yeah so for events um especially for the um i would say the ticketing event which is the one coming soon um these notes are very important when it comes to obtaining extra points uh, yeah so this plate was the 2018 um, new year episode plate so as you can see um, the total score are pretty much spread out just the same as the first anniversary one um, center skill not really there active skill not really there so it is a support plate as always so guys um, Mainly why I will highly recommend you guys to try and obtain the uh, New Year episode plates, anniversary plates is because of their vers versatility. Um, they are so useful and up to this point of time that we've been playing Ultra Macross for coming to two years now, um, I've been using these plates um, almost very very regularly um, because of their usefulness, especially this one. This one is more to the ticketing event. This one is more to a high score event, so um, it really really helps a lot, um, especially for new players um, and probably players who have not tossed in a lot of money to get the, the very very powerful 5 star plates um, that each gacha banner comes around giving uh, us a chance to obtain them. So alright, um, let's go take a look at the gacha banners um, that, we're gonna, that is the main key point of this video. Um, it is really really surprising to me to see that they have distributed the guaranteed 5 star episode plates into each of the Macross generations. Uh, so we have Macross Delta, Frontier, oops, uh, Frontier and of course we have uh, 7 and SDF Macross. So um, it is a very very painful choice because right now, if you remember, if we go into the Singing Stone store, there is only a purchase of one of this special pack. You can only buy one of it unless you wait for it to reappear again in 2019 and you will have a chance, another chance at getting a, another of these guaranteed 5 star tickets. So you can pull twice from any of these banners. Um, if that pack comes around again, if there's a very big if there, so 
we're going to talk about which of these banners is the most beneficial one to pull from because um, there are 20 plates in total that we're going to talk about and the chance is 1 out of 5 in each of the um, banners so <laughs> we're going to take a look at all of them in general um, starting off with my cross delta so we have Freya's plate here um, total score 3207 best in charm um, we're going to talk about them in general in the fact that uh, how useful they are in terms of their skills we're not going to talk about so much so of their total scores unless the plates are pretty much the same in terms of uh, usefulness so Freya's is a score repeat skill so score repeat skills are basically useful for um, long songs yeah so Freya's plate is definitely a high score plate a support plate for high score uh, in terms of long duration songs so no special notes here so Freya is just a pretty much of the, on the mare level so basically it's a very generic use episode plate so we can put Freya on a lower range of uh, usefulness um, definitely not one of the plates that you want to get in top in terms of top tier all right Mikumo okay so Mikumo is pretty much the same as uh, Freya um, but slightly higher total score um, also her plate however is a score up skill so basically Mikumo is used for shorter duration songs um, but you know in terms of usefulness she's on par with Freya's plate so moving on Kaname, this plate we are definitely very familiar with, especially if you've been playing the events uh, regularly. Kaname's plate is one of the more useful ones because it comes with the item note. Um, yeah, so she is also a score boosting um, episode plate. Um, score up, so Kaname's plate is meant for uh, short duration songs. And of course, she is also very, very useful when it comes to ticketing events. Alright, so let's move on to the next one, which is Makina. Makina, however, here, uh, she takes the cake <laughs> in terms of these scores. Um, so, Makina has the highest item note points, which is 20. If you guys don't know, uh, by now, for every 10 points within these um, special notes, it will uh, have an appearance of the particular item note appearing in your song. So Makina is capable of producing two item notes within the play itself with just one episode play. So Makina's play is on the top tier um, for the Macross Delta um, gacha itself. Okay, so yeah, so short song uh, because of the score up. Alright, so let's take a look at Reina. Reina, however, um, sadly to say, it doesn't have any special notes, but Reina has the highest total score. So, in terms of usefulness for Macross Delta, I'm going to rank it as Makina as the first one that you will want to obtain, followed by Kaname, then followed by Reina because Reina is under the score tearing uh, episode plate, then followed by Mikumo or Freya, either one. So, the best most wanted episode play under the Macross Delta banner is definitely Makina followed by Kaname and then followed by Reina. You can scrap out Mikumo and Freya if you're just aiming for the top 3. Alright, let's move on to the next generation. Uh, this video is going to be slightly longer because it is a full breakdown of all the episode plays um, that you can currently pull for the uh, guaranteed 5 star banner. Alright, for Macross Frontier, Cheryl Gnome's episode plate is on the general level in terms of total score. Alright, she is a score repeat skill, so she's used for a long duration uh, gameplay. Then, she comes with the item note as well. Um, 10 points is generally okay because it can produce one uh, item note by itself. Not the best out there, we've seen Kaname and uh, Makina with 20 and 15. So, Cheryl is still okay to obtain, um, definitely on a higher tier for the Cross Frontier episode plates. Ranka, alright, total score slightly higher than Cheryl's definitely, but she's more towards the short duration song high score purpose. No special notes uh, involved, so she's on par with Mikumo and Freya in terms of usefulness here. Um, next one, another Ranka plate, of course, another general uh, point. 
distributed plate with score up skill so she's more for um, short duration song no special notes so both Ranka plates are on par of their uh, you, um, I would say uh, usefulness another Cheryl plate so no special note 3309 so close to sh close to both Ranka plates right now short duration songs so so far we've got three episode plates from frontier that is on same path of um i would say usefulness as mikumo and freya which is kind of sad so i guess these episode plates are more towards getting their costume points if you are lacking in terms of their points to unlock the costume um, make sure you consider which ones you really really want to get first before pulling the banner that you Thing that might help you in the longer run. Alright, so next one, another Ranka plate. 3354, slightly higher than most of the um, episode plates currently in Frontier. Um, short duration song, no special notes. So we've got four plates in Frontier. There is the same, um, I would say, usefulness as Mikumo and Freya. So Frontier is definitely a gacha banner you might want to avoid unless you are looking towards to get costume points for these costumes that this episode plays um, provide. So yeah, um, for my suggestion, from the looks of it, Frontier is a stay away from. Um, especially since the only useful plate from Frontier itself is the first Cheryl plate, which is this one. Um, and it's not looking like the best episode plate that you can obtain from all the 20 episode plates available within this current guaranteed 5 star gacha pool. So let's get out of Frontier and move on to Macross 7. Uh, we're going to talk about the plates that are useful there. Alright, so first one, Milane's plate. Um, so no special notes attached. Um, Milane's plate, however, has a very, very high total score, which is fantastic and generally spread out. So, I would say Milane's plate is definitely looking like way better than Mikumo, Freya, and uh, a few of Ranka's and Cheryl's episode plates. So, in terms of um, scoring plates currently, Milane's plate is definitely looking like a top tier, close towards Reyna's uh, level in usefulness. Alright, so. Yeah, so Milane also has a pretty good active skill in terms of recovery. Um, and of course, she is meant for long duration songs. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, Sylvia's Plate. Sylvia's Plate is like Cheryl's Plate. Uh, she provides 10 points for item notes. Um, has a very useful center skill. So I guess um, if you're planning to use her as a center plate, which I highly doubt you will, because her active skill is not that fantastic. She's more towards a support skill, which is a short duration song type of support. So, so far, Sylvia, in terms of usefulness, is close to Milane's uh, because of this. If it wasn't for this, she would definitely be below Milane's uh, usefulness. All right, so moving on to the next one, Gamlin. Okay. The thing about Gamlin's episode plate is he's ep his episode plate rarely appears. Um, so we do have gacha banners for Valkyries um, that appear once in a while. Gamlin's episode plate is, or rather Gamlin's Valkyrie is the hardest Valkyrie to unlock. Yes, so if you have not obtained Gamlin's Valkyrie yet, I would highly recommend you to maybe try and pull this Macross 7 gacha banner. But because of the fact that Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie points do come uh, in a special banner itself or Valkyries alone, I would say don't go for Macross 7 just for Gamlin. Uh, go for Macross 7 maybe just for Milane and maybe try to get Gamlin. If, uh, if you are definitely lacking in both Gamlin's uh, Valkyrie points and maybe uh, probably a better support high score plate like Milane's. Alright, so I'm not going to talk about Gamlin's plate in terms of skill because it's the most trashiest of them all. <laughs> so let's move on. Uh, another Milane's plate, um, generally overall okay in terms of score. 
Um, she is definitely used for short duration songs, but sadly to say, no special notes attached to it. So, this version of Milane's plate is not the best. Uh, it's on par towards Mikumo and Freya's standard uh, so far. So, for Macross 7 itself, there's only two episode plates to look out for, which is the first Milane plate, which is this one. Sorry, not this one. Um, this one. Oh, I forgot to mention about this one, so we'll talk about that in a while. Uh, and of course, Gumlin's episode plate. So let's take a look at the last Milane plate and see whether it's actually maybe going to be added into uh, another of the episode plates that you might look forward to obtaining. Uh, pretty okay score. Uh, short duration song. Okay, so we've only got two episode plates. So Milane's first episode plate and Gumlin's episode plate. So two plates to look forward to in Macross 7 itself too. Still better than Frontier, so Frontier is definitely looking like the worst gacha banner to pull from. Um, 7 is definitely moving up, and of course Macross Delta is at the top tier currently. Um, so let's take a look at SDF Macross. Um, so since Macross first generation only has Minmei, so all the episode plates belong to Minmei itself. <laughs> so yeah, let's take a look at the first one. So Min, uh, Min Mei's first plate doesn't have any special notes. It does come with one of the very few highest total score episode plates. So fantastic. And of course, um, Min Mei's plate, in terms of usefulness uh, as active skill, it, it actually triumphs over Milane's uh, in a way. Uh, because her active skill is definitely more useful than Milane's, which is a healing, uh, healing episode. Uh, active skill. Milane's one is a healer, uh, while Min Mei's one here, um, it helps improve your um, accuracy in terms of tapping the notes and the life. So for practicing, uh, I would say Min Mei's play is definitely useful, um, but in terms of clearing missions and all this, mm, oh, overall I think still Min Mei, Min Mei beats Milane overall. So. Okay, so in terms of usefulness, Min Mei's plate is definitely higher than Milane's. Uh, active skill, so it's a score repeat, so it's definitely used for long duration songs. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this plate also generally has a higher total score, which is fantastic and spread out really nicely. Alright, so it does have an S rank, a recovery skill. Uh, so this plate is definitely on par with Milane. Um, it is used for long duration songs as well. So, uh, SDF Macross has got two. It has two plates currently that you can look forward to in terms of pulling. Um, really depends on what you want. Do you really need score episode plates, or do you need um, plates that has the special uh, special notes? Um, so weigh your weigh your choices. Which is more important to you currently? Which one do you need most? Uh, if you're not doing so well in the uh, ticketing event, I will highly recommend you to go for episode plates that has the item ops attached to them. Um, but if you need the scores, um, score boost in terms of high score challenges, then of course you definitely want to aim towards maybe getting Reyna's plates or uh, Min Mei's plates or even Milane's plates. Uh, depends on the color of the plate that you need really. And of course the skills, whether you need them to be for short duration songs or long duration songs. Alright, the next Min Mei plate. Okay, so this one comes with a heart note. So if you guys don't know what the heart note's for, basically when you touch them, they recover your HP. So this Min Mei plate is definitely useful for um, mission challenges, like maybe survive the song with a certain amount of HP, that kind of thing. So yeah, and this one doesn't have a generally very high um, total score. So I say it's decent. Um, unit total, definitely boosted. Um, and of course, uh, active skill. So this Min Mei plate is definitely meant to be used as a center. <coughs> excuse me, center um, with a fantastic active skill as well. So so far, SDF Macross has three episode plates that you can look forward to. The first three Min Mei plates. So let's see whether the last two are actually any useful. Okay, so no special notes. Oh my goodness! So it has the one of the worst terrible total scores. These are the older episode plates though. So it, it's kind of meh. So Looking at it, I would say this is on the lower tier in terms of the midway plates. So definitely a plate for short duration songs, but because of its total score lacking in value, this plate can be considered tossed aside. This one, alright, so no S rank skills at all, no special notes, lowest total score and the worst center skill as well. 
this is the trash years of trash years episode plate you can probably get. So the real gamble in SDM Macross Gacha Banner is basically there is one out of five episode plates that you do not want and it's this one. Um, there are however three awesome episode plates of memory that you can obtain um, and one pretty decent one. So four out of five, I would say is a pretty good deal. <laughs> so SDM Macross is definitely going to be higher than Macross 7. So let's rank all four Macross Generations Gacha Banners right now. The top tier in terms of usefulness is going to Macross Delta. So if you are only purchasing the pack for the ticket one time, Macross Delta is the way to go. Next will be followed by SDF Macross because four episode plates out of five in terms of score boosting Okay, if you are just going for score boosting, uh, min maze plates are definitely there to help you. Um, if you want Gumlin's Valkyrie play, uh, Valkyrie points, and of course, if you need a pretty decent, or rather, uh, pretty, I would say pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say decent, pretty good uh, high score plate, which belongs to Belain. Macross 7 is the next one to go for. Um, then of course the last ranking in terms of usefulness is Macross Frontier, which is kind of sad. <laughs> because Macross Frontier has the most popular divas, um, but the episode plates within this banner itself are the trashiest of trashiest in Macross Frontier. I don't know why they actually set it up like that, maybe. But Macross Frontier fans, if you are lacking the costume points for all the episode plates here, as you can see the costume designs are here. If you need the points for those costumes, uh, please don't hesitate to try and pull this banner um, if you're not a hardcore player. If you are a hardcore player, please heed my suggestion and just go for Macross Delta, then followed by SDF Macross, then Macross 7, then Frontier. Uh, Alright guys, so <laughs> that's pretty much all the information I have for you guys on the uh, guaranteed 5 star uh, banners for this. Uh, if you're wondering about the current reissuing banners, please forget about them <laughs> unless you're missing the costumes from those episode plates present within the, the banners itself. Uh, you might want to save up all the singing stones that you have purchased from the discounted packs for New Year's for upcoming gacha banners because the plates are definitely going to become better and better in the long run. So guys, keep my advice. Please don't anyhow spend your singing stones. Save up for the upcoming banners in the future of 2019 because definitely we have crossed the um, the bridge for episode plates reaching to another tier of awesomeness, like the hundred uh, percent score boost for uh, you know like your life skills, that kind of stuff. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this very long explanation video. Hopefully, as usual, all the information is extremely useful to you guys. I do not want you guys to make a mistake in pulling the wrong banners, uh, especially for uh, players who are a bit more serious to the game. And of course, a bit more casual to the game, I'm, I'm sure you guys um, will want to take note on what you want to pull from banners itself, especially from costume points. and. Uh, and such so guys thank you guys so much for watching uh if all this info is useful to you do let me know by hitting the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys in the next utah macross video until then bye